All right, Schlockmaster fans, from the 50 Chilling Classics collection, we're going to watch an 80s horror movie called Funeral Home. Let's check it out. This is Leslie Donaldson. She's going to spend some time with her grandparents. They didn't come to pick her up because their van or truck broke down or something, so she hitches a ride with this dude. It's a former funeral home they live in. I shouldn't say grandparents, I should say grandmother. Grandfather is nowhere to be found. And that's Billy, he works out there. He's a little special needs. She talks about Grandpa, though. So Grandma's turning the place into a bed and breakfast. Yeah, you want to go away for a weekend. Do me a favor, okay? Bring the wife and kids along. They'd love it here. You can go fishing. These are some of the guests. Your unloving wife can chat up dear girls and child. But at night, there's a lot of whispers coming from the basement. No one will bother you, James. I promise. Heather's not allowed to go down there. Sounds like Grandma's talking to somebody. That obnoxious guest. That's what I like to see. Big, strong man doing man's work. Yeah. She's gonna tease Billy a little. You like to look at my body, don't you? Would you like to touch me? You'd like to make love to me, wouldn't you? Yeah. She's not gonna let him know. She's just toying with him. Well, later on, that woman and that guy are in a car, and somebody pushes them right over into the water. Yep, they got dumped in that quarry. I'm going into town now. Must have been about eight or nine. It's a flashback to when they were a funeral home. Family was so poor that they never had a picture taken of the land. They imagine. Oh, they were so pleased to have a picture to remember them by. Well, Rick is the guy who gave her that ride. Like he and Heather are kind of a couple now. This is where the bodies were brought in. He wants to sneak into the funeral home downstairs where she's not allowed. They do sneak in. Someone with initials HD. And someone's watching them. Is that Grandma? Is Grandma crazy? No, but that's how we saw the hearse in the garage. You must never go down in the cellar. Do you understand? Rick then tells a story about when he was a kid. Heather's grandfather tossed him into the basement. One of the kid pees his pants. And actually does find a dead body. Well, I don't know if it's later that night or whenever it is, but Heather goes down to the basement and she hears a lot of that uh, talking again. Whispering. Oh, it's Grandma, all right. 
Rick tells the truth about what happened to her grandfather. Ran off with another woman. That's a lie. A dirty lie and you know it. You truly didn't know, did you? Oh, I don't believe you. Heather, when your grandmother was hospitalized with a nervous breakdown, your grandfather, he met another woman and he ran off with her. It's a lie. This is the ex, her, right, or town. the husband of the woman who ran off with and her husband. I, I've been talking to people in town, and uh, they told me that my wife ran off with your husband. Well, he's not long for this world now. Grandma kicked him out because she couldn't hear any sort of blasphemy like that. Well, we see that body get buried then. Can't understand why Mr. Davis would leave without saying a word. It's just not like him not to say goodbye. He probably had his reasons. Well, shortly thereafter, some kids are swimming in that quarry. And the body is found. I believe that's that obnoxious woman who was teasing Billy. Speaking of Billy, he gets into the basement. He starts to wander around. That's probably not a good omen for him. Mr. Chalmers, are you down here? So, of course, Billy's going to meet his end. I believe this weapon is called a trocar. It's used in embalming or stabbing Billy. Well, Rick and Heather go down to the basement again. Grandma? Are you down here? Come on, Rick, let's get out of here. There's Billy. And then... Yep, it's Grandma. She's crazy. And she's talking in Grandma's voice and Grandpa's voice. And then we get the big reveal. There's Grandpa. Cops show up then. As the credits roll, we get some of the story. Found her husband with a strange woman. She was completely out of her head, and well, she's as strong as any three men I know around these parts. Now she parted them in the garage, got him first, and then she finished off Lena Davis. Pretty gruesome stuff. All right. Let's talk about Funeral Home. First of all, I have it on this 50 movie pack chilling classics. I might have this on another compilation as well. I'm not sure. I think this movie's in the public domain. It's on some a lot of cheap DVD versions out there. Some compilations just like this one. It does not have a nice, clean version out there somewhere. So this is something that, you know, maybe Shout Factory or Vinegar Syndrome or one of those great companies will pick up and clean it up because it could use it. So anyway, it came out in 1980, I believe. It was also called Cries of the Night or Cries in the Night. Um, it's a Canadian main horror film starring Leslie Donaldson, who I believe was 16 at the time that she made this. She is coming to this rural area to uh, stay with her grandma. Her grandma lives in a former funeral home, and they're going to turn it into a bed and breakfast. Um, where is grandpa? Grandpa apparently has disappeared. 
Um, she could never get a straight answer from her mother what happened to Grandpa. So she asked Grandma what happened, and Grandma basically says, yeah, he was here, and then one day he wasn't. He just disappeared. Um, that's not quite the whole story. Well, uh, she, while she's staying at this house, she starts to hear whispers and strange things going on in the basement, like there's conversations going on. Well, she's not allowed to go in the basement either. Grandma tells her, don't ever, ever go in the basement. Meanwhile, some people start disappearing, like even some of the first house guests that come and stay. It's this obnoxious uh, woman, this couple. Um, they end up, uh, their car gets pushed off of a little cliff and falls into the, like this rock quarry and uh, into the water and sinks. And that's the end of them. I'm not sure what they did to warrant that, but that's what happens to them. Uh, Heather learns from this guy, Rick, that she's kind of dating, I guess you could say, uh, that Grandpa ran off with another woman uh, years earlier, and, you know, the whole town knows about it. Um, uh, and Grandma was in a mental home for, uh, like, six weeks because she couldn't handle it, or six months. I'm not sure what it was. Um, but the whole town knows about it, but Grandma obviously won't admit that. Heather uh, yells at him, you're not, you're, you're lying, you're not telling the truth, blah, blah, blah. But that is ex exactly what happened. And also, Rick tells a story of when he was a kid, and he and his little friend tried to s sneak into the uh, funeral home to see dead bodies. Well, the grandfather caught them, tossed them in there, and of course, they did run into a dead body. One of the kid pees himself, uh, which is a scene I remember quite vividly when I was a kid. Also, there's a scene where they have a flashback to maybe the 19... 30s or something, and uh, they open up a coffin, and there's a little boy inside whose parents had never had a photo of him, so they take a picture of him in the coffin. That actually, stuff like that actually did happen back in the day, too. Well, ultimately, we find out that uh, Grandma is in the basement. Who she's talking to is Grandpa. In fact, Grandpa did run off, and um, he, or Grandma, ended up killing uh, Grandpa and uh, the lady that he ran off with, buried the lady in the yard, or wherever it is, and she's kept Grandpa preserved in the basement. Um, you know, she's into mortuary stuff, so they know how to do that. So he's preserved in the basement. Um, Heather stumbles upon it. Turns out Grandma's still having conversations with Grandpa, but she's crazy, and she's uh, talking for both of them. And then she's about to kill uh, Heather when the cops show up, and they take her away. And they're like, oh, you found your husband. Uh, it looks very nice. Oh, thank you very much. You know, so anyway, that's Funeral Home. That's the movie. So anyway, it's kind of like a typical 80s horror movie, early 80s, obviously here. No nudity in this movie whatsoever. Could have used some. Um, and it's got a couple of kills. Nothing nothing outrageous, though. Not a whole lot of gore. A little bit, maybe. Again, my copy on this DVD isn't the best, it, but it is what it is. I don't think, like I said, I know there's a couple other ones out there as well, but I'm sure they're just as grimy looking. So what are you going to do until somebody finds a finds it and cleans it up and sends it out there? I will buy it, of course, when that happens. So I actually have a pre-recorded VHS of this, too. And in fact, that might be a better looking copy than this one. Who knows? But anyway, that's it. Like I said, you can get this all over the place. I believe a, a link down below if you're looking to pick this up. Um, this is a movie I thought I had reviewed on my previous channel, but it turns out I didn't. So anyway, that's it. So check it out. Let me know what you think about Funeral Home. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.